Hi everyone, my name is Coach Morgan and I am the Junior Giants AmeriCorps Ambassador for our Out of Market League. And today Coach Paul and I are going to be taking you through our week two, practice one, um, for our second summer season. Yeah, and today we're going to be talking about health. So how we can be more healthy, uh, some healthy snacks we can eat, and yeah, just have a healthier way of life. So first, first question is, Coach Morgan, what is your favorite healthy snack? My favorite healthy snack or my go-to is to make a smoothie. So I will blend up any frozen or fresh fruit that I have in my fridge and then go ahead and make a yummy smoothie as a snack. Yeah. Um, my favorite healthy snack is an apple. So um, I love everything with, uh, with an apple from uh, maybe with some peanut butter on it too. So, all right, guys. Uh, so to start off, why don't we stand up, get some stretches, warm up a little bit, and we will get back to talking about health in just a second. So Coach Morgan, you want to start us off? Yeah. So our first stretch today, everyone, we are going to we are going to interlock our fingers like this, turn them out towards the camera, and then reach way up to the sky. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, great job, guys. And now we are going to do some arm stretches. So you're going to reach your arm all the way across your body and then hold it with your other arm. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then go ahead and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, great job, guys. Now we are going to do some stretches to stretch out our legs. So keep your feet together and keep your legs straight, and we are going to reach down and touch our toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I want you to take a big step to the right and a big step to the left, and we are going to reach down to each side. So go ahead and reach down to your left foot and hold your left foot for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and then go ahead and switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So how about we do 10 jumping jacks? Let's do some cardio, get warmed up. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, perfect. Let's do a wrist stretch. Uh, put your hand out toward the camera like you're saying stop. Pull back your fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's switch arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. How about we do 10 seconds of arm circles? We'll do five forward and five back. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse, reverse. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and last one, let's just run in place for 10 seconds, guys. Let's get some, um, all this energy out and get nice and warmed up. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, great job. Um, Coach Morgan's going to show us the word of the day, which is health, like we were mentioning. But a quick, uh, quick trivia question. So me and Coach Morgan love to put some trivia questions uh, in our practices. So today, can anyone tell me hmm, – let me think of a good one. Can anyone tell me what is three plus eight? So we will get back to the answer of this question in just a couple minutes.
All right, guys, let me share my screen with you so we can all watch the video together. And here are some tips for how to have a healthier summer from Giants player Hunter Pence. Hey, Junior Giants, this is Hunter Pence. Did you know that by playing baseball, you're getting exercise? Here are some other ways to stay healthy this summer. Have a soda-free summer and drink water instead. Try to fill your plate with different colors of fruits and vegetables. Remember to stretch and warm up before every practice. All right, guys, so before we get started with our WOW discussion for today, Coach Paul has a challenge for everyone. All right, guys, so one thing that Hunter Pence just said is we should try to not drink soda as much as we can. So our challenge for you for the next three weeks is to go with a soda-free season. Um, it's only three weeks, uh, and a great alternative to uh, soda and other sugary drinks are water. So whenever you guys want to drink some water uh, or drink a soda, maybe go get a glass of water instead. Um, what are some other sugary drinks that we can replace with uh, water, Coach Morgan? Hmm, I'm going to say Gatorade. Gatorade, yeah. Um, a milkshake, that, that could be another one. Mm -hmm. um, a Frappuccino from Starbucks, if you guys go there with your parents at all. Frappuccino, yeah, that, or um, maybe even like apple juice, or um, I know when I was a kid, I drank a lot of Capri Sun or Sunny D. Um, those are really good drinks, but uh, it's best to drink them in moderation. So um, instead of drinking, you know, three glasses of Sunny D a day, maybe you guys should drink maybe just one and then uh, drink more water. Um, so uh, some other questions we're going to ask. Um, Coach Morgan, how many glasses of water do you, do you think you drink each day? Hmm, I'm going to say instead of drinking glasses of water, what I try and do is always have a reusable water bottle with me. That way it encourages me to drink more water throughout the day. So one of these big 32 ounce water bottles is actually um, like drinking four glasses of water. So I try to at least drink two or three of these every single day. Yeah. So. Um, probably it's best to drink at least eight glasses of water, guys, um, which seems, seems a lot. Seems like you're constantly drinking water, but if you just drink, um, take all the times when you would drink a soda or drink uh, some juice and replace it with water, it's, you would easily make it to eight glasses a day. Um, so Coach Mor Morgan, another aspect of living a healthy life is exercise. Can you uh, define exercise and tell us why it's good for us? All right, so exercise, guys, um, in its easiest definition is moving your body. So whether that's if you go on a walk with your family or maybe you have a dance party, um, playing sports, like going to t-ball practice like you are today, or lifting weights, um, exercising your body gives you more energy and helps you stay healthy overall and also helps you get stronger. So building strong muscles um, is just one of the many great ways that you guys can stay healthy with exercise. Yeah, and um, that being said, uh, with this summer inside due to our current situation, um, can are there any examples of things we all can do to exercise at home? Hmm, I would say something fun that you guys can do is maybe help your parents clean the house. Just moving around the house throughout the day is a great way to stay active. Um, you guys can play. If you have siblings, maybe you guys can create an obstacle course or some sort of game that you guys can play inside. Um, what about you, Coach Paul? What else are other ways that you can stay active? Uh, yeah, you guys can walk your dog. You guys can ride your bike. Um, most of the things, uh, what a lot of people think is exercise has to be boring or it has to be hard. And exercise does not need to be hard. You can do exercise just by walking around with your family walking your dog, uh, swimming at the pool is exercise. Um, so make sure to do something that you, re you guys really like to do. Like for me personally, I love playing soccer. I love playing basketball. So when I, when I exercise, I go play soccer and I go play basketball. And it's a fun way to um, exercise and stay healthy. So uh, 
That being said, another thing you guys can do is go to your digital dugout and watch coaches' videos because they will give you guys a bunch of um, activities you can do at home. And right now, Coach Morgan is going to show us a quick video of Andrew Bailey, the Giants pitching coach, um, show us a game we can play at home to practice our throwing. Yeah. All right, guys. So now I'm on our um, digital dugout. The website is juniorgiantsathome.org if you haven't been on it before. And I am on the out of market page, but depending on which league you're in, you guys can click whichever city this league you're a part of and then scroll down to our all-star activities page. And I'm going to show you guys our healthy habits bingo card before we watch our quick coaches video. So our Healthy Habits Bingo card and talking about how you can stay healthy this summer has a lot of great things that you guys can do throughout the summer to eat more fruits and vegetables and stay active. So what you're going to do is Coach Paul and I are going to challenge everyone to try and get a bingo on the card, which means you get five squares in a row. So let's see, if I do Brandon Belt's boot camp, which we're going to do in a few minutes for our fundamental exercises today, you will click on the square and then a baseball will pop up and try and do four more squares to get a bingo. So if I do 15 sit-ups, I skip for 10 minutes, I play tag for 20 minutes, and then I eat some blueberries, I will have gotten a bingo on my Healthy Habits card. So we're gonna challenge all of you guys to see if you guys can fill up all the squares on your Healthy Habits bingo card. And one of the other ways that you guys can fill in a square is, like Coach Paul said, watching our Giants coaches' videos and doing some of the drills that they talk about. So I am going to go to our Giants coaching corner page, and we are going to watch a throwing drill with Coach Andrew Bailey. All right, guys, here we go. And we are just going to watch the first little bit of this video. Um, it's a little bit long, but you guys can always access the rest of the video on your digital dugout after practice. Hey, Junior Giants. This is pitching coach Andrew Bailey. Uh, welcome to my house. I hope you and your families uh, are staying safe during this time. Uh, I wanted to bring you inside our house to uh, introduce you guys to a game that my kids uh, and I like to play inside. Uh, great for baseball, have some fun. Uh, also, we incorporate some math into it as well. So uh, they just finished up some schoolwork. I hope you did too. So uh, I want to introduce you to my daughter, Teddy. Uh, she, here she is. Big Giants fan, Teddy, and uh, my son, Matthew. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to take you through a, uh, a game that we like to play uh, inside the house. So thanks, guys. All right, guys, let me take you through the rules of the game. So first off, we're going to need a couple of household items. First, we have some painter's tape. You can uh, ask your parents for masking tape or something like that. Uh, you can find it at your local hardware store. Also, in other ways, you can simply put a pillow uh, on the couch uh, and throw into that as well if you don't have access to some tape. So. All right, guys, so like I said, um, the rest of the video, Coach Bailey will go through and show you guys how to do some fun throwing games at home. Um, and if you want to watch the rest of that, it is in our digital dugout. And right. oh. <laughs> go ahead, Coach Paul. I was just saying, so now we're going to get into fundamentals. Uh, so another thing that's on our digital dugout is Brandon's uh, boot camp, Brandon Belt's boot camp. Um, but before we start that, why don't we do an answer to the trivia question real quick? Uh, so the question was, what's three plus eight? So got eight fingers. We want to add three. So got to nine, 10, 11. So three plus eight equals 11. So hopefully you guys got that answer. And now we're going to start uh, Brandon Belt's boot camp. Coach Morgan's going to pause at certain, spark, certain spots to uh, – so we can do the exercises with you guys. All right. Hi, Junior Giants. Are you ready for boot camp? I'm Brandon Belt, and I'm here to teach you ways to stay strong before, during, and after the Junior Giants season. My friend Carl's going to show us some exercises, so follow along. All right, Carl, what's up first? First, we have to warm up our bodies. It is important to warm up so we can deliver nutrients to our muscles by getting our heart rate going. It's important to stretch. So this way, when you go to play baseball or softball, your shoulders 
your hips and your knees are ready to go so you can throw fast and hit hard. Next, it's really important for us to get up, get going, and let's do some cardio. First, we're gonna do jumping jacks. This is to get his legs and arms moving at the same time. All right, guys, so today we are going to go ahead and stand up and let's all do 10 jumping jacks all together. All right, ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, great job, everyone. The next exercise is jump rope. Brandon Crawford and Joe Panic, this is one of their favorites. This is how they keep their feet moving so they can feel the ground ball. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and finish out our cardio with some jump roping, and we're going to go for 10 seconds. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Um, all right. So if you're ever in the back seat with mom and dad driving a car and you see a truck drive by, are the truck tires really big or are they really small? It's really important that they have big tires, just like we have big, strong legs. They're the foundation of every movement that we do. The next exercise Brandon Belt is gonna demonstrate is a lunge. It is very important to start in an athletic position, reach out with a footstep, get your knee as close to the ground as you can without touching, and push back, back to that athletic position. The next exercise. All right, guys, so now we are gonna do five lunges on each side all together. So Coach Paul is gonna go ahead and demonstrate for us. All right, guys, just like uh, Brandon Bell just said, um, keep your back leg as close to the ground as possible without touching and take a step forward with the other leg. So a step, leg down. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Good job, guys size of the squat. You'll notice that his hips, his knees, and his ankles are all moving at the same time. Kind of like if he was sitting in an imaginary chair. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, we're going to do seven squats together. So keep your chest forward. Don't let it lean forward like this. Just keep it centered. And we'll do seven squats, just like we're sitting in a chair. Ready, set, go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job, guys. All right, now on to our arm workout. A fantastic exercise is a push up. As Brandon demonstrates, the first push up is with his toes into the ground. You're going to gently lower your chest to the ground and push straight up moving your whole body in one complete unit. For those of you that need to make an alteration, all you have to do is put your knees on the ground and let the same rules apply. All right, everyone. So just like um, our coach showed us and Brandon Belt did, um, you guys can do your push-ups either with your feet on the ground or with your knees to the ground. All right, and just make sure you keep your back straight. We don't want our butts going too high like this, and we don't want it going down like this. We want a straight back straight legs and let's do five push-ups guys ready set go one two three four five all right one of our favorite core exercises is a plank get on your elbows and spike your toes into the grass or into the ground. You're gonna lift your bottom up and hold a nice still position. When we plank, what we're looking for is one to two sets at anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds. A little bit goes a long way. All right, awesome guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and do our plank. So get back down to your push-up position and then drop down to have your forearms on the ground just like Coach Paul. And we will do our plank for 10 seconds. 
Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we only have two more exercises, guys. As we watch Brandon perform a sit-up, what he's going to do is take his hands, gently grasp the back of his neck, take his elbows, and crunch all the way up to his knees, coming down nice and slow. For those of you that is too much advanced, you can make it a little easier and just crunch halfway up. Our last core exercise. All right, guys, so go ahead and stay on the ground, and we are going to do 10 crunches or sit-ups all together. Let's try to keep our legs still. Let's not let them flail like this. And ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, awesome job, everyone. And our last exercise. Guys, that Brandon is demonstrating, it's called a bicycle. You're gonna take one knee to your elbow, crunch up, and switch. It's a lot of fun once you get going. All, All right. right. <laughs> last, last one, guys. Uh, let's do five bicycles to each side. You bring your elbow to your opposite leg, and then just like you're riding a bike. Ready, set, go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, everybody. We finished Brandon Belt's boot camp. That's a little more exercises than we usually do, so you guys did a great job. Uh, we only have about another ten seconds on this video, and then we're going to wrap up practice. One of the things that makes baseball and softball really fun is the activity. Just because you play baseball and softball doesn't mean that's where it stops. Keep going. Play with your friends. Go to the park. Have fun. That's what it's all about. Woo. All right, Junior Giants. I'm tired now. How about you? Remember, it's important to move, play, and exercise every day. Don't forget to eat your fruits and veggies and track your progress on your Healthy Habits poster. Also, make sure to drink lots of water, get plenty of sleep, Brush your teeth twice a day and wear sunscreen when you're outside. Our team follows healthy habits so we can perform our best in the field every day. And now you can too. All right. Great job, everyone. And thanks for following along with Brandon Belt's boot camp. Um, we had a really fun time hanging out with you guys this practice. And now I think it's time for us to wrap things up. Yeah, so just sum summarize um, everything from today's practice. Coach Morgan, what is... Uh, what are some sugary drinks that we can replace with water as an alternative? Hmm. Some drinks that you guys can replace with water um, throughout the day are soda, fruit juice, and things like Gatorade or Powerade. Yeah. Um, what is one, why is water so important? Water is super important to help you guys stay hydrated so that your body can keep moving and do all the different activities that you do throughout the day. Yeah, and last question, what is one thing um, we can all do to exercise while we're at home this summer? Hmm. One of my favorite things to exercise this summer has been going on walks. So whether you guys walk your dog or walk with your family, it's a great way to get some fresh air during quarantine and hang out with your friends and family. Yeah, perfect. All right, guys. Well, um, now that we're at the end of practice, why don't we finish off with the Junior Giants chant? Um, just in case you might have forgotten it or are new, uh, the chant is, who are we, JRG, go Junior Giants. So um, let's put our hands toward the camera. Um, I'll count us off. Three, two, one. Who, who are, are we, JRG, go, go Junior Giants. Giants. All right, guys, great practice. Um, Hope you guys learned something and hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend or week and we will see you very soon. All right. Bye guys. Have a great, have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next practice. Bye guys.